So uh, in today's modern era, every industry is embracing digital transformation either to acquire new set of customers or sustain the market excellence. Uh, that way, manufacturing industry uh, also emulates the same thing. And then we as a market leader, we also um, emulate various, uh, embrace various digital transformation programs. So coming to manufacturing industry, uh, as we see that today, manufacturing industries, especially in India, they are competing with the global enterprises. Naturally, digital transformation is used as a tool to leverage and um, also excel in the competitive environment. Okay. So that we, there are various challenges are also the manufacturing industries are coming across. To start with quite a few, uh, 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 the challenges I, um, I I could narrate here. It's it's uh, up to me what I I, could, I am saying. It doesn't mean that uh, I represent as an organization level at this point of time. So yes. I uh, foresee that the challenges, what are the manufacturing industries today? Uh, they are coming across or. Um, Technology is a capex intensive or a, a high cost intensive that we manufacturers, especially the SME segment is finding it little challenge to adopt to the new technologies. And apart from that, we have other kind of challenges like the technology life cycle is also changing very fast. And uh, to maneuver these technologies, we require the talent. So there is a talent crunch or shortages, limitations are there. And apart from that, the current infrastructure and the environment, the ecosystem, that also belongs to traditional uh, environment. So coping for the latest requirement of digital transformation technologies, there is a huge gap between the current environment, infrastructure environment and the expected one. So bridging this gap is a big challenge. Then apart from that, with the advent of new technologies, always it brings in new kind of threats as well as risks to the industry. So these, uh, these are all some of the um, challenges uh, every manufacturing industry is coming across. Of course, there are ways and means to overcome these challenges. As I was mentioning, Today, the technology is uh, available on an OPEX model so that uh, the SME segment or mid-size organization enterprises, they can uh, identify suitable partners to leverage the new set of technologies. And then I was mentioning about the technology obsolete life cycle. So the life cycle of the technology is obsolete. Uh, so, uh, one can understand about uh, the stage or milestone in the life cycle of the technology and then accordingly uh, the manufacturing industry can get in. If it is already in the peak, then there should be some cautious way to assess how long this technology is going to cater the industry. So, that assessment has to be made and the risks and threats can be overcome. When it comes to cyber security, it goes with various set of um, cyber hygiene practices as well as uh, cyber resilience strategies. And when it comes for the talent, um, promote the employees, current employees, upgrade them with the proper training and then partner with the leading um, service providers so that we can gain the competitiveness through the digital transformation. So these are all some of the ways wherein we can uh, overcome the challenges when any manufacturing industry embracing digital transformations. As we are seeing that uh, post pandemic, the business models are changing as well as the IT landscape is changing. Earlier we used to invest more and more on on-premises. Now 
uh, every industry, manufacturing industries are getting on to the cloud computing. There are various options available today. And also, as you go, you can scale up. No need to go for upfront in uh, investments on infrastructure costs. Uh, so that way, uh, today we are fortunate that there are various service providers. They are offering uh, today infrastructure as a service, platform as a service. Then uh, there are SaaS applications are available. So these are all various uh, opportunities for manufacturing industries to overcome the challenges as an investment. And apart from that, uh, when we have to take up any long term perspective, naturally we can foresee as a POC kind of a trial before venturing into any of the technologies. And today, partners as well as ecosystem is available for any industry to conduct these trials. So that we uh, the capex intensive or cost pressures are being reduced drastically for any manufacturing industry. And moreover, today um, any new technologies, if we have to build, which are niche for. Uh, any industry unique catering to the unique needs of any industry there are uh, various uh, partners are available to join hands to build this as a solution so uh, and we are also noticing various startups coming up and uh, catering to the needs of manufacturing industry so that way there are opportunities available to overcome the challenges <music>
I would rather say it is the spine for any organization and not only defining at one moment the policies and procedures, but uh, reviewing and upgrading and enhancing at regular inter intervals might be an annual, um, annually reviewing it is very, very essential. And uh, coming to uh, the practices, I always foresee that training and awareness is very, very essential. There are two set of training, one for the administrators who are actually playing a big role in containing the cyber threats as well as risks. The mm -hmm. other set of uh, training is for employees as well as partner resources, third party resources who are inside the premises or outside the premises who are uh, consuming the IT ecosystem for any industry. So this awareness is very essential. Then, of course, conducting audits then uh, remedial actions, timely remedial actions are very essential. Uh, then foremost thing is that uh, we, we should always have the threat intelligence and how we can gain the threat intelligence by having proper networking with the industry. So we need not to rediscover. There are many things uh, would have been rediscovered by our peers as well as other organizations organization so networking is very essential and another foremost thing i think that uh, um, which is very essential is about compliance path complying to regular regulations compliance to statutory requirements are very essential and one more thing fundamentally i foresee this in fact we are practicing that uh, when we are designing any new processes or business models uh, Trying to bring in the cyber risks as one of the factor to design uh, any technology solutions against the business needs. This is very, very important rather than after building technology solutions and then identifying various vulnerabilities. Instead of that, when we are going to take up the uh, design phase, solution design phase or technology uh, roadmap phase at that point of time when we are going to uh, give priority on cyber uh, risks as well as threats, then we can uh, eliminate and minimize when we are fulfilling with proper technology solutions. So it is one way a proactive measure, uh, which I strongly recommend. And finally, all these when we are doing that, we should not uh, uh, stop there. The farm monitoring and review is very, very essential. Two set of uh, reviews can happen. And of course, every organization does that. One is at operational level of review. And the second one is at uh, executive level of reviews. Both reviews at a certain uh, frequencies are going to help any industry in overcoming uh, any cyber risks. When we are talking about the data privacy, I feel that today uh, data is available everywhere and sensitive and PIA data is very essential to be controlled. So naturally, we need to have separate set of um, exclusive policies and procedures to manage this uh, uh, data privacy. And of course, in India, DPDPA has been now, uh, we are expecting the regulations once it has come up then every industry is going to start practicing uh, at their most way. And coming to um, other set of hygiene factors like uh, continuity measures like um, antivirus updates are happening, patches are being taken up regularly, uh, training and awareness to the team, and then um, email security, which is one of the biggest threat vector today. So uh, propagating and communicating to the users on a regular manner about what's happening there and what kind of threats uh, the organization is coming across, these sort of insights are going to be helpful for each one of the IT users. When I'm saying IT users, it's not only employees. It includes the users from third party resources who are consuming the data as well as who are using the IT infrastructure environment as well as our partners, trade partners, franchisees who are using our systems. Naturally, these practices 
not only well within the perimeter but also it should go so it's boundaryless naturally we have to propagate and cascade the good practices everywhere so that way we can minimize as well as overcome any of the threats